How do you judge the quality and the results of this study? I think um, regarding the quality, this um, study really fulfills all the internationally um, appropriately chosen criteria, um, saying that this is a randomized study. It was a two to one randomization and all the data quality um, came in very well. well so I believe um, this fulfills the current um, criteria for a well-controlled, um, high-standing um, study in terms of quality. Now, regarding the results, one has to say, as uh, was communicated, that the study was stopped because um, an endpoint was achieved where the committee said, um, with these results, we should stop the trial and go um, into a phase where also the group that received the standard chemotherapy should be allowed to get this new drug. And I think this really speaks for itself. This is not very frequently the case that studies are stopped because the primary endpoint, um, which was overall survival, is reached. What about the side effects? Are they manageable? Well, the side effects, of course, have to be uh, taken seriously and uh, they are manageable. Um, what um, also has been communicate that there are majorly two side effects that um, would not be seen uh, with um, chemotherapy, at least to that extent. One is cytokine release syndrome. This is actually something that happens when the immune system gets um, very strongly activated. So um, a situation that in fact is something that reflects um, the um, activity of this drug and um, so these are um, situations like fever, um, uh, uh, problems with uh, the circulation um, and these occur in a um, relevant fraction of patients but they are very well manageable um, and um, uh, the interesting uh, point here with this drug is also that if you turn it off uh, due to its short half-life the side effects are um, rather fast controlled. The other um, serious side effect is um, central nervous system problems and um, there um, in the primary studies uh, regarding this drug it was seen that uh, they are relatively frequent and can be uh, very intense. However, now in this randomized study um, the serious side effects um, regarding central nervous system were not really higher compared to the standard um, control group. Do you see other indications of plenitumumab? Well, of course, this is um, the first in class um, um, uh, substance, a bispecific antibody that activates T cells. And um, it was obvious to go in this very um, serious disease um, where um, uh, the CD19 antigen that is on the tumor cell is expressed. But um, a lot of B cell malignancies do express um, this surface marker. And there are a lot of B cell malignancies that need better treatment. So yes, I do see that there is an enormous potential to extend this drug to also other entities. What we do know already is that there are other studies uh, running um, where um, it is used, for example, in a situation where there is um, a minimal residual disease, saying that there's disease that is at a very, very low level, can almost not be measured, but is the cause of subsequent relapse. And also there um, one sees that with this drug, um, deep responses can be obtained where this minimally measurable disease is suppressed at a level where it's not measurable anymore. So uh, clearly there is a way forward uh, to use this also in other situations, yes. Can pa pa patients in Switzerland already be treated with plenitumumab? So since um, February 25, I believe, uh, of this year, 2016, um, the um, uh, drug is available for patients that have relapsed or refra refractory um, BALL, that is Philadelphia chromosome negative, and uh, that allows um, the regular use of this drug in Switzerland already. There's also a um, program active where the company um, is providing the drug under very special conditions in similar situations to patients where the drug is not approved yet. What is your take home message? I think what we do see here is a new way of treating patients, as I said, first in class, 
um, I believe that um, this will have impact on a lot of other um, uh, malignancies, uh, particularly B cell malignancies, but I also believe that we will see drugs that have a similar mode of action but then can be used in um, other diseases as well. Thank you very much indeed.